Hey honeys, welcome back to the podcast here. I'm still your host at Question Mark for a Person, Heather Donovan. So remember last week when I told you guys that this week's episode is going to get really intense? Well, I'm here to deliver on that promise. I always deliver on the promises around here. You should know that by now. So before we begin, I got in the middle of recording this episode and... <laughs> And my batteries went out on my recording thing. So I'm redoing this again. Also, there's a storming outside and thundering in the background. I'm so sorry about that ahead of time. Um, there's not much I could do about it. I Otherwise, I would do better. The good news is all my animals are calm though right now. My dog Toby is laying in the bed right next to me. My other dog Daisy is laying on the floor under cage right in front of me. They're nice and calm because they hear me talking. So... I think that we should be good. So just be mindful. You're probably going to get some AMSMR in the background of this. And I apologize for that. We strive to do better around here when our power. So anyway, here's hoping the batteries doesn't die again. So today we are having a discussion about bullying. Well, I'm having a discussion. You guys are listening. So I mean, kind of having a discussion, right? Sure. Probably a lot of people are and were affected by bullying, including myself, in their lifetimes. And I feel like this topic is not even nearly covered or acknowledged enough in life as it should be. As a part of my life mission, I feel that it is my job to do what I can to help the world do better. And that's what I will always do until and try to do until the end of time. Because, you know, it's the Aquarius in me always wanting to fight for the better and, and the change. Especially for the better. Remember? And if you don't remember me talking about it, then I'm going to need you to go ahead and pause this episode and go back and listen to the episode where I talk about my zodiac sign, Aquarius. It's season one, episode four, titled Talking Zodiac Signs, part one. Also, go back and listen to any other episode that you may have missed any time. It's never too late to listen to an old episode after all, even if it's your fifth time listening to it. I don't judge. I mean, it helps me out tremendously. Helps the podcast out too, so thank you. I'm doing this topic now because I know that all schools have a different starting date everywhere and I really wanted to cover this topic before all schools start. But I do need to point out that it's not just kids, preteens, and teens that bully. There are a lot of adults that bully out there as well, unfortunately. So bullying can happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime. This is not an easy topic to cover by any means, nor should it be, especially having to live with the effects of bullying myself, but we will get through this topic and episode together. The definition of bullying is the repetitive intentional hurting of one person or group of people by another person or group where the relationship involves an imbalance of power. In order to considering if bullying is bullying, the behavior must be aggressive and include two things. Number one, an imbalance of power. People who bully use this as their power, such as physical strength, access to embarrassing information, and their own popularity to control or harm others. Power imbalances can change over time and in different situations, even if they involve the same people. And number two, repetition. Bullying behaviors that happen more than once or has a potential to happen more than one time. So it could happen over and over and over and over again. So what is bullying? Bullying is, number one, to treat someone in a cruel, insulting, threatening, or aggressive fashion. Number two, to cause someone to do something by means of force or coercion. Sure, words are hard. Leave me alone. Bullying is an unwanted, aggressive behavior among anyone that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. The behavior is repeated or has potential to be repeated over time. Bullying includes actions such as making threats, spreading rumors, attacking someone physically or verbally, excluding someone from a group on purpose. There are five different types of bullying. They are physical bullying, verbal bullying, social bullying, cyber bullying, and mental and emotional bullying. Physical bullying includes hitting, kicking, tripping, pinching, and pushing or damaging property. Basically anything physical or causing physical damage. Verbal bullying includes name-calling, insults, teasing, intimidation, homophobic or racist remarks, or verbal abuse. Social bullying can sometimes be referred to as covert bullying. Covert means not openly acknowledged or displayed. With that being said, social bullying is often harder to recognize and can be carried out behind the person's back whom is being bullied. Social bullying is designed to harm someone's social reputation and or cause humiliation. Social bullying can include lying and spreading rumors about another person or group of people, giving negative facial or physical gestures, mincing or contemptuous looks to another person or group of people, playing nasty jokes to embarrass and humiliate another person or group of people, mimicking unkindly, encouraging others to socially exclude someone, and or damaging someone's social reputation or social acceptance. 
The Cyberbullying Research Center defines bullying as intentional and repeated harm inflicted through the use of computers, phones, and other electronic devices. Cyberbullying can either be overt or covert bullying behaviors using digital technologies including hardware such as computers and smartphones, and software such as social media, instant messaging, text, websites, and other online platforms. This reminds me of a show that I'm currently on my third time watching because it's such a good show. It's called Pretty Little Liars. And I have a Google description for you right here. It's not very good, but I'm going to read it to you anyway, just because. Pretty Little Liars is an American mystery drama television series based on a novel series of the same name written by Sarah Shepard, developed by I. Marley King. The series was blah, 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 blah. Rest of that ain't important. I kind of forgot that there was a book series. I should probably read that. I haven't read since summer started. Love to read. I mean, I'm currently in the middle of the need to finish It Begins With Us. I need to really get back into that. In my free time between work, podcasting, and other personal duties. And dance is coming back soon, so I'm sure I could squeeze it in somewhere. But basically, Pretty Little Liars, I'm going to give you my own description. Pretty Little Liars is about like this group of like teenagers. Well, some of them are adults too. And they were targeting these four girls because the fifth girl that was in the group, she was, well, I'm going to say this because the show's been, well, I... (laughs) The show's been on for a while, so the leader kind of faked her own death, and there's reasonings behind that. And all these other people were after these girls, because the one girl who faked the death was, like, one of the mean girls. Like, she was the B-word, and I literally don't like her in the show, but anyway. <laughs> but they target the rest of these four girls just because, and they make them do messed up things, and they even do messed up things to their family. It's a really good show. You should really check it out. I don't steer you wrong when it comes to TV. I like good TV. We don't watch crap shows around here. Anyway, cyberbullying can happen at any time. So can any other type of bullying, but that's besides the point. Cyberbullying can be in public or in private, and sometimes only known to the target and the person whom is doing the bullying. Cyberbullying can include abusive or hurtful text, email or post, images or videos, deliberately excluding others online, nasty gossip or rumors, and or intimidating others online or using the target's login. I cannot find any information on the fifth type of bullying, which is mental and emotional, while I was doing my research. However, I'm still going to cover it, but I'm just going to use my own words and description because I feel like this type is still very important to cover, so I'm covering it. Mental and emotional bullying is when one doing the bullying is intentionally hurting the target mentally and or emotionally, the point where it can mess with the target mentally and or emotionally. This one, in my opinion, is one of the most dangerous types of bullying because the target could question if they are actually being bullied or not. This type of bullying is just like a mind game to say the very least that nobody ever wins that, especially the target. Ugh. All right, now I finally caught up to where my recording system decided to die with the battery. So now we're finally caught up. I'm so glad that we're still rolling. Thank you, TV remote, that I will be putting you back in later. (laughs) Anyways, how do I identify bullying and the symptoms of bullying? There are a ton of different identifiers and symptoms of bullying. However, not all of them are clearly noticeable. Some emotional and behavioral signs of bullying are changes in sleep patterns or has nightmares, changes in eating patterns, frequent tears or anger, mood swings, feels ill in the morning or frequently ill or fakes illness, becomes withdrawn or starts stammering, becomes aggressive and unreasonable, begins to target their siblings or others close to them, continuously loses money or other items or starts stealing, feelings of hopelessness or disgraced self-esteem and or self-destructive behavior such as running away from home, harming themselves or talking about suicide. Some physical signs of bullying are they have unexplained bruises, cuts, scratches, other injuries on their bodies. They are missing belongings or their belongings are damaged. Other signs of bullying are They don't want to go to work, school, or do activities that they once loved to do. They are often alone or excluded from their friend group. They are a frequent target for teasing, mimicking, or ridicule. They are unable to speak up in class or other public settings. It appears to be insecure or frightened. They change their routine. They are avoidant of certain things. They start slacking off and give up on trying. For example, one's grades may slip. There are three types of parties that involve bullying behavior. Initiators, targets, and bystanders. Initiators are those who bully others so that they gain status and recognition from their peers. Their bullying behavior is reinforced when they intimidate their targets and the peer group does not challenge the initiator or reports a bully to someone with higher authority. In my opinion, I don't think that's the only reason why someone bullies others. For starters, I have witnessed it being alert behavior. And what I mean by that is a child will learn how to be cruel and bully from the caregivers and adults whom they look up to. At least 90% of the time in my experience, the adult is 10 times worse than the child is themselves. 
Another reasoning could be how the person personal life was or is. Have they always had it difficult and could never catch a break? Maybe they are starving for attention because they never have gotten any from anybody. I mean, heck, honestly, I would back out too and be angry as well. I also believe that those who bully may have an underlying mental health disorder that is probably undiagnosed. Take a second and think of another reasoning why someone would be so hateful, cruel, and angry all the time. It can't feel good to them either. And there is no shame of having a mental health issue. A lot of the world nowadays takes medicine for something or has a mental health issue like anxiety, depression, ADHD, for example, OCD, a ton of other things. So there really is no shame in it. And I'm not really coming for mental health in that way. I'm just bringing that as a point up. Anyways, targets are the ones who are being bullied. The ones who are at relatively greater risk of being bullied include being unassertive, withdrawn, and for a whole host of other reasons. Now we arrive to bystanders. Bystanders can have a very powerful effect on either encouraging or stopping the bullying behavior. There are three types of bystanders. Followers, also known as assistants. Bullying behavior supporters, also known as reinforcers. And bullying behavior defenders. Followers or assistants do not initiate the bullying, but takes on an active role in the bullying behavior supporters. Bullying behavior supporters or reinforcers support the bullying behavior, either abortively or covertly, covertly, words are hard, leave me alone, by turning a blind eye, but does not take an active role in the bullying itself. Bullying behavior defenders dislikes the bullying and tries to help the target by intervening, by getting support by high authority, or, or by providing direct support to the target. Now to have a little word with my bystanders. So bystanders, listen up. You have the power to change the situation. If you see, hear, or notice a situation that is going on that isn't right, then react to it. Do something. Don't just stand there and watch because in my eyes, it makes you just as guilty. Especially looking back at all the bystanders who stood by me getting bullied. They are just as guilty to me as the bullying person themselves. By reacting, you could change a life for the better. You could even save a life without even ever knowing it. Just show a little kindness and give a helping hand to those who need it. For example, if you see bullying happening, call out the bully on their actions. The majority of the time, they'll be very embarrassed to stop. Be the change that needs to be made. Don't just wait for the change to happen. Otherwise, the change may never happen. If you look at any point in history, it'll tell you the same thing without actually telling you the same thing. The effects that bullying can have can be dire. The effects that bullying can have on the target are health complaints, decreased achievement, mental trauma, change in sleep and eating patterns, an increase in nightmares, a loss of interest in activities that they used to enjoy, increased feelings of sadness and loneliness, depression, anxiety, and suicide. These issues may persist into an adulthood. I'm here to tell you that that's true. These issues can persist into adulthood. I'm still going through the healing from all the bullying that I have endured and will always be going through that healing process from it. I will never be fully healed from it. The target isn't the only one that bullying can affect though. Bullying can also affect bystanders and the bullying themselves. Those whom bully are most likely to abuse alcohol and other drugs in adolescence and as adults, get into fights, vandalize property, and drop out of school, engage in early sexual activities, have criminal convictions and traffic citations as adults, and be abusive towards their romantic partners, spouses, or children as adults. Those who witness bullying are most likely to have increased use of tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs use. Have increased use of tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs. Miss or skip work, school, or other activities. And have increased mental health problems, including depression and anxiety. You can prevent bullying from happening. Some ways by doing this is to build a safe and supportive environment, support those whom are involved, including the bystanders, address the bullying behavior, be persistent and commit to making the bullying stop, helping others understand about bullying, keeping the lines of communication open, and following up to make sure the bullying has stopped. You can help someone who is being bullied by listening to them, supporting them, talking to them, and encouraging them to get help. If you or someone else is being bullied, what you can do is stick up for yourself, defend yourself, speak up, keep doing what you love, keep being you, and get help if you need it. I've used a few different sources for my research on this topic. The top two that I've used for a majority of this topic are www.stopbullying.gov and ncab.org.au. I'll be linking both websites in the episode notes for a resource and in case you want to dig into the topic more on your own. 
I tried to stay away from bullying being just school based even though my research mostly came back at school based but the truth is bullying happens anywhere at any age anytime and should absolutely not be limited to just bullying happening at school honestly and I do want to clarify one thing too I am not saying that you have to be friends with everybody just be kind to people just don't be a jerkwad you know what I'm saying do not be the person that changes another person's life for the worse. I mean, especially if they commit suicide, then the blood is on your hands and your hands only. Well, not only, but you know, you get the picture of what I mean. Just don't be a jerkwad, okay? Just make, just make a difference. Just do better. Point blank, period. Thanks for listening in on this difficult topic. This will not be the only difficult topic, though, that we will be covering by far. I mean, definitely not. I want to explore, like, all different kind of topics. It's not always going to be the fun topics. I could explore some deeper and dark topics. Because, you know, I cannot just do one topic. It's not, that's not for me. So, that's what you should expect from me. You should expect nothing less. You can follow Converse with a Pod and other listeners on the podcast, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram at Life as a Question Mark. You can follow me personally on my own TikTok and Instagram at Misty's World 2022. There's a link tree in all the social media bios to help you locate everything better, including the podcast website. You can support the podcast by donating any amount to the pod. You can do this by clicking the support link in the episode's notes, by clicking the payment button or link tree that'll take you to Remo, or by going to the podcast website. Please remember to make the donation by friend and families only though. And when you donate, no matter how big or small, you'll get a special shout out from me on an episode. Or maybe you'll want me to give a special message to someone, such as asking someone to prom, or to marry you, or just to pick up their dang laundry off the floor. I mean, who am I to judge? I mean, I can give, give any message to anybody. But regardless if it's a message or a shout out, each one will be special just for you, nobody else. And it's just a very small thank you for supporting the show. All donations go directly towards the podcast. You can also support the show for free, may I add, by rate, reviewing, subscribing, and telling your favorite stranger about the podcast. And then make your favorite stranger actually listen to the podcast, hold them hostage for a little bit. And then make them rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast as well, and make them tell their favorite stranger too. Makes the world go around and helps this podcast become more booming and popular. And so we can do more cool opportunities and more cool things. This week, I am going to leave you guys with a song that I am dedicating to you all. The song is Mean Girls by Rachel Crow. Alrighty then, guys. I'll talk to you all next week. Make sure you all are doing better and have a great week.